Hey guys, AJ here from Next Level Living, and today is package day. Yes! So I'm leaving for Puerto Rico next week, so I ordered like a bunch of stuff. And half of them, or more than half, is being delivered today, so it's a very exciting day. But the one thing I'm really excited about that's being delivered today is... Ta-da! Now, I already started unboxing it. Actually, this... The Phantom was inside this other box here, and then that box is inside this huge box with a lot of air padding. And I already started opening it, but I figured why not, I'll make an unboxing video. Everybody else has made one, I'll make one too, because they're fun, right? Yay! Now here it is, Phantom 4 Pro Unboxing, version 5294.2. Yeah. It is. Oh, it's not fully charged. same cable. Nice. Hey Google, play how to fly Phantom 4 Pro to my TV. Sure, playing how to fly Phantom 4 Pro from YouTube on TV. Gotta get up. Alright guys, I plug both of those in. Now let's check on my 3D printing real quick. Ooh. Almost there. Just a quick look. These things right here are for the Mavic. I printed a bunch of them because I originally bought the Mavic, but the Mavic was dead on arrival so I had to return it. And I wouldn't get it in time for Puerto Rico so I just ended up buying the Phantom. Phantom is probably better in the long run investment anyways, so. What I'm printing there is basically this case over here. You see I printed the drawer already. I'll show you guys more about my 3D printer later on a different video. So I ordered a bunch of stuff from Puerto Rico, or for Puerto Rico. And I'm gonna show you guys all of the things I'm bringing for my trip to Puerto Rico. GoPro Hero 5. Now I was excited for the Karma drone, but then I realized how inferior it is in comparison to the map, um, not Mavic, um, Phantom. Because the Phantom has a crap load of sensors. A crap load. This hard case that I bought, it's for Phantom. And we're gonna try it out in just a sec. This is oh chest mount for GoPro. Okay. Waterproof bag for phones. And this personal alarm. And I'm gonna show you guys why I bought one of these. And it's actually gonna be pretty cool. And it's a small security for your drone when you leave it in the beach while you're 
snorkeling or swimming. I'll show you guys in a different video. Oh, my Mavic case came today too. Too bad I don't have the Mavic anymore. And this is the waterproof bag. I haven't opened it yet. I'll open it in a little bit. Landing gear stabilizer. I also 3D printed the lens cap cover. A flower lens cap shade thing and a prop guard. So I bought this backpack at Amazon and it's made for GoPro Hero 4 Pro and it's a hard case. I'm gonna put the link to the Amazon in the description below so you guys can check it out. But I basically opted for the hard case because I feel like the soft cases are, you know, like it, when you hit a corner, the side of the car, a tree branch, the side of the rock, something else. It feels like it's gonna damage the drone. So I like the hard case better. It feels more sturdy. It feels like you can throw it around more. And it feels like it's just built better. And this is the carbon fiber um, model. It feels light. It's not heavy at all. And we're gonna check it out to see if the actual drone fits in it. All right, first thing we're gonna try is the drone. This way. It's a little tight. You can hear it squeaking, but it fits. Manual. Over here, the propellers, maybe over here. Now let's try the charger and the controller. Controller first. The landing stabilizers. Perfect. Oh, forgot this one. All right. Let's see here. Close this up. I feel like the foam is hitting the prop. So you guys see that? So my good thing I 3D printed a propeller guard. I printed these a little too small. Might have to reprint them for a different size. I'm gonna have open one anyways. There you go. Here. Do a 360 for you guys. What do you guys think? Feels very stable. I don't hear any shaking or you, you know when you hear something loose. This is gonna be kind of my thing going through the airport like this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if I look good or if I should get a different one. It weighs about 15, no, 10 pounds. Not bad. 
right? And that includes the drone, a battery, the charger, the remote control, the propellers, a couple of 3D printed parts, the landing gear stabilizers, and also the tablet. Did I say that already? So, if you're going hiking, I guess you don't need the charger and that would be the same weight as maybe one or two extra batteries. So overall not bad, 10 pounds is definitely doable. Now thank you guys for watching, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the firmware, calibrate the remote, activate DJI refresh, make sure the tablet is working properly, and I'm gonna start flying it outside. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna put a link in the description below for the hard cell backpack that I was showing you guys earlier. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like my videos and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.